I'm back, guys. So this is all the keto-friendly items that we've made tonight. I'm just adding a little cover. A few berries, little raspberries. Everything that we have prepared tonight is totally keto-friendly. And we did this in two segments tonight because I figured, hey, people want to watch the Super Bowl, you know? So I'm Chef Drama, Chef Taylor from Next Level Chef Season 2. Tonight, it's all about the Super Bowl. I know it's just about over. Is it over yet? Almost. So we're going to be digging in. We've been eating all along the game. But baby, we had to see Usher perform tonight. Oh, my God. So I'm almost finished garnishing. And we are all going to just dig in. You know, I like to eat with my eyes. We all do. So why not make your tapas good to look at? As good as they are. Now, everything tonight is keto friendly. And uh, we had an amazing time preparing. I'm going to tell you exactly what we prepared. Of course, I have a barbecue chicken tacos, not tacos, uh, nachos. Oh my God, we prepared these earlier. I have a larger batch in the kitchen for the few people that we have coming over because I'm sure this is not a lot. Now we use Quest uh, tortilla chips. I'm going to show you those. We actually use Kickin' Country Keto Barbecue Sauce. This is actually my barbecue sauce that's out there on Amazon and the TikTok shop. If you have Prime membership, it's free shipping, free shipping. And soon it will be available in your local retail store. Now, I have lost 147 pounds with this keto on this keto journey. I'm gonna show you the chips. These are the chips that we use for the taco nachos. These are high protein, um, low carbs, very, 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 very good. In fact, they taste like um, tortilla chips, like um, Doritos. That's exactly what they taste like. Now we paired it with chicken. This is ground uh, diced chicken. We grilled some chicken breast and we also added some shrimp. I think I put one or two jumbo shrimp. See the shrimp in there? So this is barbecue chicken. Top. I keep wanting to say tacos, nachos with Quest chips. We've got guacamole and um, sour cream. And of course, a mixture with a marinara, Rails marinara, mixed with the Kicking Country Keto Barbecue Shop. Sauce that is my sauce. It's kickery. It has a kick to it, but it's really good. And we also have some charred Brussels sprouts with a little turmeric sea salt. Mmm, that is good. Good, good, good. You go to a Super Bowl party, you gotta have some veggies. These are delicious. Spray them with a little olive oil or avocado oil. Very good. Jalapeno peach poppers. Straight out of Aldi. You see that? Bacon wrap. Of course, we bought the jalapeno poppers from Aldi. I mean, the jalapenos, stuffed them with cream cheese and wrapped them with bacon. And we added a little something extra. We added blue cheese. Incredibly good. Now, I'm Daryl Taylor from Chef Next Level Chef Season 2. Remember to follow like, follow, and share Daryl Taylor. Now, I have lost 147 pounds on keto. Berries, we have raspberries, strawberries, blackberries, and I didn't have blueberries, but this is a little small tapas for the Super Bowl. And you know, like the beanie weenies? These are little weenies. You see that? Mmm. And these are low carb because we're actually using the kicking country keto barbecue sauce okay hmm 
I'm going to stop eating. Whoa. We also have grilled shrimp. Grilled shrimp. Lime wedges. And I have some cocktail sauce. Awesome. Mmm. Daryl, if you don't stop eating. Mmm. Let's make it easy. Let me bring the, the table to you. Now these are macaroni and cheese rounds. They're actually balls. When you bake them, they flatten out and form like a um, a moon head, like a biscuit. So it's actually a cauliflower mac and cheese. And they are incredibly good. Mm. I'll show you what they look like. You see? Cauliflower mac and cheese. Mmm, so, I don't know if I'm greedy or just... And, oh my God, these are really, really good. Those are actually... Brie and ham balls. We took um, brie cheese, cut it up. You've got your chopped parsley and your ham. And we rolled them around. Uh, Put an egg in there, also some cheddar cheese. And we rolled them around in your keto bread, crumbs, Parmesan uh, mixture with a little Parmesan um, chopped parsley. Simply amazing. And it, most of the things are being served with the Kick and Country Keto barbecue sauce. And of course, we have a wine, red wine, and we have some champagne chilling. So we made it a simple, real simple, keto friendly tapas night tonight. Now, these are little pizza rounds. I'll probably heat them back up, but we stuffed them with. Um, Marinara, that's Rails marinara, uh, low sodium, low sugar, and uh, low carbs. uh, Marinara. And we paired it with, um, of course, Kicking Country Keto Barbecue Sauce. We paired it with this, and also with uh, Rails marinara, also with pesto. Mix it together, and you've got an amazing and incredible um, marinara um, barbecue blend that's totally keto friendly. And of course, your cheeses are keto friendly. But be mindful, certainly not a port wine cheese because it has tons of um, sugars. Anything that has a fruit in there, it's going to have some sugar in it. Um, And those are not good for you on the keto lifestyle, okay? But um, I am going to go. I just wanted you to see the table that we prepared for tonight after the game. We're going to dig in. This is just a little light tapas you know you don't have need much when you're going to enjoy your cocktails now you can get your kicking country keto barbecue sauce on amazon tonight or or you can go right below and the tiktok shop it's available there prime membership free shipping and look at those beautiful um champagne glasses aren't they delightful we have some champagne chilling and we'll bring that out in just a minute But I am going to go, and um, hopefully I'll see you guys again real soon. And I know we did do a um, 19-day keto challenge. I should have probably put a Spanx on, huh? (laughs) No, but um, we completed the 19-day keto challenge on February 2nd. And we're going to announce the winner of the challenge February. What day is that, J.D.? February? No, we ended it on the 2nd. So we'll let you know who won on Tuesday. So remember to like, follow, and share. Send us your weight pre the 19-day challenge and also the um, end the day, which ended the 2nd. And we'll see who won the free case of Kicking Country Keto Barbecue Sauce. So the winner of the 19-day challenge will win 
one case of the Kickin' Country Keto Barbecue Sauce, okay? It'll soon be available at your local retail shops, but for now, Amazon and TikTok. Remember to like, follow, and share Daryl Taylor Chef Drama. I will see you again soon. Happy Super Bowl Sunday. I was going to wait until they announced who won the Super Bowl so we could rejoice together. But I'm trying to log off so I can get ready for the few guests that we have coming over tonight so they can eat up all this food because I couldn't possibly eat all this tonight myself. No, I could not. But I will die trying. So I'm going to go. It's been real. And I'm going to have a few cocktails. Yes, cocktails. I'm going to have tequila, gin, vodka, and bourbon, I think. L allow keto Google to be your friend. Ask Google what things are keto friendly and whatever. Now that we're connected, you'll see so many incredible recipes that I'll be sharing from week to week, okay? And who knows, I just might have a cookbook coming out real soon. All things keto. But I wanted to be able to enjoy a Super Bowl party with um, a few friends. And um, even though I've lost 147 pounds, Chef needs to tone up and get rid of this flab. So maybe I'll be working with the trainer real soon so I can tighten up for the summer. So maybe by, by, by um, fall, I'll be in good shape. So I'll talk to you guys soon. It has been an incredible night. So let's just see who's gonna win those uh, this Super Bowl. Will it be the 49ers or who will it be? See you guys soon. Bye-bye.